last on Sledgehammer. Hammer, you can't defuse that bomb. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. The following season of Sledgehammer takes place five years before that nuclear explosion. Thank you. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. In just a moment, police detective Chris Raker will take the stand against reputed crime boss Johnny Red Shoes Haggis about his role in the murder of former district attorney D.A. Burnham. This is Amy Porter reporting live. Now, right this minute. Do you promise to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth so help you God? I do. Detective Raker, please tell the court exactly what you saw the night of June 20th, 1986. Well, I observed Mr. Heck. <clears throat> I observed Mr. Johnny Red Shoes Haggis. I observed Mr. Haggis. I, I, I don't know. Come now, Detective Raker. Just tell the court what you remember. I don't know. I told you, I don't remember. What are you doing? Get off my back. Order in this court. Order in this court. I said order in this court. Order in this court. Order in this court. Not me, him. In all my years in the force, I have never been this disgusted. So you heard about it. Yeah, I heard about it. Canceling the policeman's field day. It was my turn to get shot out of the cannon. This is ridiculous. Oh, oh that's where I put that. I hope my mind is too. Hammer, I thought you were talking about Detective Raker. Raker? Who, Chris Raker? You know, I like that guy. He's kind of tough. Good with his fists. Always liked him. Hammer, he cracked on the stand today and didn't finger Johnny Red Shoes Haggis. That wimp! You know, I never really trusted him. He was so dedicated, so stable. How's the captain taking it? Mm, not very well. Been in his office most of the morning. Yeah, he's probably really depressed. You know, Captain Trunk has been like a secondhand father to Raker for years. How sharper than a serpent's tooth is an ungrateful punk. Sorry for interrupting, Captain. Just wanted to cheer you up, sir. That's impossible. This is the worst day of my life. Now, you see right there you're wrong. You've said many times that the worst day of your life was the day I joined the force. Now you feel better? Yes. Captain, I'm sure there's a reasonable explanation for Chris Raker's sudden breakdown. Oh, it's obvious what happened. He was pretending. Johnny Red Shoes Haggis paid him off. I hear you can make a lot of money in acting. Raker would never shell out. He had integrity, you understand? And the mere fact that you would even suggest that he was... Go ahead. Let it out. You'll feel better, Captain. Never! You know, Captain, I thought he sounded real. All that ranting about violence. Well, that's difficult to fake. No, believe me, Raker is a faker. All cops face violence. The ones who can't deal with it crack. The ones who can, teach. Yeah, but just talk to him. You want to talk to him? Why don't you dial him direct? 555 five, five, Weasel. Here, I'll ring him up. Hammer. Hammer. Hammer, give it a rest. I've already tried. The man's not at home. Oh, typical. The line went dead. Dang deregulation. <laughs> ah! uh, Hammer. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, Hammer. How's it feel to be the second craziest cop on the force? What was that, Major? I asked you how know, it felt to be the second craziest cop on the force. Oh, I thought you said laziest. 
<laughs> Sorry, my mistake. You don't believe Raker really lost it, do you? Not a chance in the world. That kid has taken the heart out of Trunk, and I'm not gonna let him get away with it. He was always too perfect. That bonehead even had a perfect attendance record. What's wrong with a perfect attendance record? Any cop worth his tin is out at least a couple of days with a flesh wound. Well, I, I think we're all human. I mean, I think we should strive for perfection. Speak for yourself, Duro. I am perfect. A perfect 42 regular and a perfect shot. <laughs> I started VVC after the network forced me out of programming. They said my ideas were too high concept. <laughs> you tell me, what's wrong with an alien puppet living with a suburban family? Okay, it's stupid. But what's wrong with it? Nothing. Sounds kind of cute. Cute? There's too much cute in the world. There should be an alternative. You've heard of reality programming? This is reality reprogramming. Here we are, the nerve center of my entire operation. Voila. Whoops. Sorry, we were just uh, playing in the Space Invaders. The latest in state-of-the-art mind control technology. Thought control through television. Amazing. I could start a fourth network just like this. There already is a fourth network. That's a network? <laughs> yeah, I see your point. Anyhow, your process certainly worked on that cop raker. Johnny Red Shoes Haggis couldn't be happier. 500,000, just as we agreed. I just want you to know I'm not doing this for the money, but I have to answer to a higher command, uh, my two-year-old son. This is all very um, impressive. Uh, Mr. Smartikoff, I'll be leaving. But this is only the beginning. I've devoted my whole life to TV. Man has only begun to scratch the tip of the iceberg of the video age. Look. I'm really not into television. I only watch PBS and Nightline. But someday you'll really be into television because it will rule your life. Man will never have to leave his couch. Brother, you will even travel to foreign lands by TV. Actually, I enjoy flying. Ultimately, man and TV will combine to form a newer, higher being. Yes, a super race. Smarter, brighter, new and improved. And it will all start here. And with those who watch it, yes, the rulers of tomorrow sit in front of the TV today. Oh, another new sweater? Come on, Theo. Who is it? Amber, it's me, Draco. Open up. You came here for insults. I already gave at the office. Hammer, I have to talk to somebody. Yeah, well, don't confess. Let me beat it out of you. I hate cops who take bribes. I didn't take a bribe. Now, listen, you're the only one I can talk to. You're bloodthirsty, but you're trustworthy. Now, you gotta listen to me. I don't listen to malcontents. Especially malcontents who malcontent all over the captain. Hammer, listen, listen, I'm telling you the truth. I don't know what happened to me on the stand. It was the sound, this noise. I couldn't remember anything. And then these nightmares. These terrible, weird nightmares. They seem so real. Oh, the one where you haven't been to class all semester and it's the day of the final and you're in your underwear? No. No? No, these revolve around a white room. You gotta help. I just helped you quit smoking. All right, look, I don't know what happened to you on the stand. Maybe you didn't take a bribe. Maybe you just cracked under the pressure. But you better remember what happened with Johnny Red Shoes Haggis, or that slime ball's gonna ooze free. I, I tried, I tried, but nothing happened. Well, try harder. Remember. Remember, come on. Haggis, the murder. Haggis, the murder. No. No. 
There's violence here. There's violence here. That sound. I had to get rid of that sound. I got to get it out of my head. Ooh. Nicotine withdrawal is a real bummer. Uh, uh, that noise. Help me, Emma. Help me, Emma. That sound hit me. Hit me. My hit me. Feel better now? No. Hit me. Hit me, you Emma. Ah! Hit me. That noise. Boy, you can come over here anytime. You just bought the farm, Fink. All right, now you're in trouble. I love it when the company drops by. All right, come on, let's go. Party's over. Okay, people, let's clear it. That guy's gonna destroy Trunk and me both. You know, I still don't understand why I came to you. Uh, felt safe here. You know, when Raker rushed in here, he was shaking worse than a rumba dancer. He had that look in his eyes as someone who just stepped over the edge. I've seen that look before. Yeah, in the war? No, in the mirror. Sledge, can you... What do you think made him break down? I don't know. All I did was ask him about Johnny Red Shoes Haggis, and look what he did. Think I'm gonna lose my security deposit? He required one? Can you remember saying anything that might have set him off? He came in here, he was raving, he was ranting, going on about noise. He said the noise and something about nightmares. Nightmares. What did he say about nightmares? All he mentioned was something about a white room. White room. White room. I've read something about that. Look, another article. Now, what magazine is this from? Reader's Digest. Oh, well, I can't get more authoritative than that. Already, advertising agencies have expressed an interest in mind control techniques such as the KGB's white room process. That's all it says. It's the condensed version. That's it. The white room. Oh, Sledge, you don't honestly believe that the networks are trying to turn people into mindless automatons, do you? Haven't you ever seen Matlock? What I'm saying is the only people that are more calculating than the networks are the mob. They didn't bribe Raker. They brainwashed him. They programmed him to forget and break down every time he tried to remember anything about Johnny Red Shoes Haggis. Let's go talk to Trunk. I think I figured out how to pull the plug on Haggis. Let me get this straight. You want me to spread the word that you've got new information that will put Johnny Red Shoes Haggis behind bars for good and that you're going to testify tomorrow. Hammer, that will never work. Yes, it will. We'll get a woman to start the rumor. Want to do it, Daryl? No, I'll get somebody else. You see, sir, the guy who got to Raker is going to try to get to me before I testify. Oh, Hammer, Hammer, something is happening. Put that network in the dumper. I already did last year. And this just in. Inspector Sledge Hammer will testify tomorrow in the trial with new information that will, according to Hammer, put that scum-sucking leech into the slammer for so long, by the time he gets out, he'll be dead. Thought of that myself. And now I'm an act. Yeah, I could tell. Well, Darrell, I guess it's time for you to make tracks. We don't know what's going to happen here tonight. I think I should stay and back you up. I don't need a backup. I got all the backup I need right here. It's taking me through shootouts and stakeouts and, and a marriage. So, Ham's great. I can hide in the closet. They won't even know I'm here. Look, the mob has probably been watching this apartment all evening, and they're not going to make a move till you leave. So, beat it. I can take care of myself. Always have. Always will. You know, it's okay to let people care about you. It's, it's not a slight against your masculinity. It's human. Zero, I think I hear your mother calling. You know, beneath that loner exterior and twisted mind lurks a heart. A heart with real emotion. It's really okay to let it out every once in a while. 
One more insult like that, and you're going out of here on a stretcher like Raker. You win. You know, once I'd like to come over here when it wasn't a crisis. I mean, you could just invite me over here and we could just talk. Is that too much to ask? I don't know. Depends. Just call before you come over. Why? Think you might make me dinner? No, I want to disarm all the booby traps. Shouldn't something be happening, Smartikov? Say, yes! No cartoon first. Look, Johnny Haggis wants results. I don't know what he knows, but I want him not to know it. You know? I know, I know. Look, if we can't brainwash him, let's brain wax him. Go to level three. Dishwashing liquid, toilet paper, TV dinners, soap, trash bag, deodorant, breakfast cereal, tires, toilet paper, TV dinners. Finally, jello. Let's get down to business. Take notes. Inspector Hammer, tomorrow, whenever anyone asks you anything about Johnny Red Shoes Haggis, you will forget everything. Is that understood? You put him to sleep, you idiot! Wake him up. Yes, sir. Go to level four. Wake up, Hammer. Come on, no, wake up. Mom, Mom, no, Mom, I'll take out the garbage in a minute. Come on, Mom. wake up. Mom. At level four, we associate scenes of extreme violence with our command to forget a certain topic. It could turn Oliver North into a bedwetter. So better work. We're running out of time. Ah, oh. This is impossible. This man is experiencing every form of violence known to man, and he's loving it. That will be enough, Inspector Hammer. Could you at least make me a copy? VHS? I'm losing my patience. So am I. Give me a gun. Let's kill him. Are you mad? Of course I'm mad. Would a sane man work in television? But there must be another way. Huh? You're right. Forget it. You guys can't scare me. You can turn my stomach, but you can't scare me. I'm a brick wall. The only guy who can reach me is me. And I'm on my side. That's it. His conscience is too strong. We'll reach him through his subconscious. We'll reach him through himself. Begin facial topography sequence. Convert my boys to hammers.
Well, Ledger, this is a fine mess you've gotten us into. Us? What is this, some kind of joke? Oh, no, no, no joke. I am you. You will do what I say. What I say. You're selling encyclopedias. I'm not buying any. Why am I talking to you? You're not real. I am real. Yeah, can you do this? Boy, one hour with you would be hell. Stop, 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 stop fighting it, it, and listen to me, me. Tomorrow you will remember nothing when asked about Johnny Red Shoes Haggis. Tomorrow I will remember nothing. If pressed, you, you will become agitated. If further pressed, in fact, you will draw your gun and kill the DDDDA. A A A A A. I will blow away the DA. When you wake up in the morning. You will feel refreshed, and you will remember nothing about tonight. Refreshed, I will kill the DA. Now sleep. Tomorrow is a big day, 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 day. Wow, man, I slept like a log. Hope you had a good night. Inspector Hammer, would you tell the court what you remember? Well, I was born a white middle-class child. I lived no, no, years. Inspector, about Johnny Red Shoes Haggis. Ah, uh, well, I, uh... yes? I, um, I don't remember. I mean, why else would you tell Captain Trunk that you had new, important information? No, I, <clears throat> I, no! I mean, no. no. This is no time for fooling around, Inspector. What about Haggis? I, I don't remember. Nothing? I don't remember. Shut up! I said I don't remember! Nothing! I don't remember! Stop it! Stop it! I can't think it! My head! It's the noise! Get me here! Stop! Stop! Hi. Dude, you goofball cop! You're supposed to shoot the DA, not me! What? What's going on? Bailiff for rescue They've already killed the dead DA, then they brainwashed Raker and tried to brainwash me. How's that for a quick explanation? Do you have any comments, Mr. Haggis? I tell you nothing! Nothing, you hear me? Nothing, you get nothing! Nothing, nothing, you hear me? Nothing, you get nothing! Well, it looks like justice was done. It sure was. Those were the ugliest shoes I've ever seen. I mean, what happened? Didn't they try to brainwash you? That's right, Captain, they did. They tried to play on my subconscious, but they forgot one important thing. What's that? I don't have a subconscious. Hammer, I'm amazed that you were able to hold out against their brainwashing. Well, it was easy, sir. I simply thought about one thing. What was that? Well, who's always close to my side? Someone I'm afraid I've been neglecting lately. Someone for whom I've never really been able to express my true feelings. Someone who's beautiful, sleek, attractive. I think it's obvious who I'm talking about, sir. Oh, Smith, stop. My gun. Hammer, you are a truly sensitive guy. Thank you, sir. I never thought you'd notice that.